to get me one of these. Okay, so this is a recording of the new Clear One beamforming microphone array, which you can see I have mounted right behind me here. I'm going to do a few test scenarios. I'm going to walk around the room a little bit. I'm also going to sit down from a seated position so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, I guess I can start right here. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to face the beamforming array. Um, Clear One array will work with a few of our mixers, it is uh, proprietary to Clear One. It works with the 840T, the 880, and 880T, or an 880TA. There is a 200-foot distance limitation between the Converge Pro and the Beamformer. And then if you want to add more Beamformers, you can always go another 200 feet to add a second Beamformer, and another 200 feet to add a third Beamformer. If you need more than three, you will need an additional mixer. Um, right now, I am probably about 10 feet away from the microphone. I am looking at the microphone, as you can see in the video. If I were to spin around, <coughs> excuse me, I turn around, I'm now not facing the microphone, as you can see. Um, you'll be able to hear any difference in quality. Uh, when I spin back around like this, I'm now looking at the microphone. Um, I'm going to get up, maybe get a little bit closer. You can hear me in this chair. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can uh, maybe read from this a little bit so you can hear what a paragraph would sound like. And we open up the new Clear One Concise Catalog for 2013. It says here that the Beamforming Microphone Array <coughs> is the Pro Audio Industry's first professional grade microphone array with beamforming and adaptive steering technology. The next generation acoustic echo cancellation to work with Converge Pro models 840T. 880, 880T, or the 880TA. So this is uh, me trying to demonstrate what it sounds like. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get up and kind of walk by the microphone. It's behind me now. One, two, three, four, five. If I were to come back to about this location, this is um, this is actually about 16 feet away from the microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I know I've had a lot of people request that I just sit down and speak, so I'm going to actually get a chair, and I will roll back to the 16-foot mark. Too. This is about 16 feet away from the microphone, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, versus if I maybe move up. And now I'm about 10 feet away from the microphone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see um, the audio should sound pretty much... You know, very similar to how it sounded when I was closer to the microphone. I will push it a little bit. I'm going to go <clears throat> and walk all the way to the back of the room. Where I am standing right now is 25 feet away from the beamforming microphone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm purposely pausing on and off. I want to make sure you don't hear any of the any gating, if you will, or the beam switching as I walk by. Um, again, this, this particular model right now in the ceiling mounted position has five beams that are being created by the 24 elements that run across this microphone. And those five beams, there are two in the one end of the microphone, two in the opposite end, and then there's one that comes down in the center to cover that area directly underneath. Um, but I hope this was a good enough recording and you got to at least experience how the beamformer sounds. And um, please let us know if you have any questions.